Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here, and today we discuss uh, the full adder implementation. Okay, using the universal gates. We've seen the half adders. Today we see the full adders. All right, and we know the, about the universal gates. So first, let's say we use the NAND gate. All right. Okay, now the sum is what? It's A exclusive or B exclusive or C. All right. So, and we know that from the universal gates that to represent one exclusive OR gate, we need four uh, NAND gates. All right. So now I'm, I'm drawing the circuit for full adder. Okay, using only NAND gates. So how is that? So it's like this. You people keep drawing with me and then we prove it in the end. Why or how is it like this? Okay, now you do what? You have uh, the inputs as let's say A and A is also given to this gate similarly we have a B also given to this gate now the output is given to this gate and this gate all right and finally this all right, now this is for A exclusive or B. Now this will react as one of your inputs. Let's say this one. So this would go to that gate. And this will also come to this gate. And similarly, now you have another input C. The C input will come to this gate and will come to this gate. So now again the four gates. So now another exclusive OR operation. Till here we have A exclusive OR B, and now in this part we have the A exclusive OR B with C. All right. Uh, and now what happens? Now this happens. All right. You you give it to this gate. You give it to this gate, and the outputs you give it to this one, and you give it to this one, and finally you have an output. Is that fine? Okay. Now this is what. This is for the sum. This is for the sum, all right? For the carry, what do you do? For the carry, you take one from here, one input from here, all right? And one input you take from here, from this very point, all right? And uh, this. And you name them together. You name them together. And this will give you a carry, okay? Now we prove it that is it working as that or not. So we've seen that the sum in this case would be what? It would be A exclusive or B exclusive or C. And the carry output is what? It's, it's A uh, times B plus C times A exclusive or B. All right, is that correct? Uh, yes, it is, okay? So you know how to do this, A with a B, A and it B, all right? And then A with A and it B, whole and it together. Today we do it simply, okay? Let's say we take A, uh, we take, we give them values. We give values to A, B, and C, all right? And then we see. So let's say A, B, and C, they're all one in this case. They're all one, okay? So you have a one, B is one, and C is one, all right? So you mean you have a one over here, you have a one over here, all right, and then you have a one over here and a one over here directly, okay? Now you know from the NAND table, one and NAND with one is a zero, okay? Because one and one is a one, and then you got complements, so it becomes a zero. Now the output is coming here. This is zero, this is one, okay? And we have over here a zero, and over here a zero. All right now? B is directly connected over here we have a 1. Now 1, 0, it, it will give you a 1. Over here we have a 1, 0, it will give you a 1. All right, so which means over here we have a 1, over here we have a 1 now. So 1, 1 now will give you a 0. 
So which means here we have a zero, here we have a zero. Zero one will give you a one. Which means here we have a one, and over here we have a one, and over here we have a one. Uh, so one one now will give you what? It will give you zero. This one zero will give you one. And this zero comes here. Zero one will give you a one. This one comes here. Zero one will give you a one again. So the sum is one, the carry is one, which is absolutely correct if A, B, and C all are one. You know that from the previous videos, all right? Let's say we change the values. We give them A, zero, zero, one. Let's say we give them A, zero, B, zero, and C is one. So now what happens? So now for this case, uh, the sum has to be one and the carry has to be zero. All right, so we prove them now. So which means over here we have a zero, okay? We have a zero here, now we have a zero here, and we have a zero here. So this zero, zero now will give you a one, which means over here we have a one and over here we have a one. Now this one zero, it will give you a one. And this one, uh, one zero will also give you a one, okay? And now we have a one, one over here, so this one, one would give you a zero. So which means you have a zero over here and a zero over here, okay? Now C is one, which means here we have a one and here we have a one. Zero, one, it will give you a one, all right? So which means we have a one over here and we have a one over here and we have a one over here. Now this zero, one, it will give you a one, okay? Uh, this one, one will give you a zero, which means we have a zero, we have a one. Now one, zero will give you a one. So the sum is correct. Now for this, you have a, over here we have what? We have a 1, which means a 1, 1, which came from here, 1, 1 will give you a 0. So the carry is 0 and the sum is 1, which is absolutely correct, all right? So this is about the NAND gate. Now next we see about the, the, the uh, full adders using NOR gate. So like that's a little complex and that is not used widely. This uh, NAND gate is uh, mostly used, all right? Okay. All right. So now this is uh, this is the uh, the circuit diagram for the full adder using the NOR gates. All right, using the NOR gates. So you see, this is a little complicated, and and this this circuit is not very commonly used. We use the NAND gate circuit most often. Okay. But still we have a proof, uh, we, uh, we prove uh, if this is acting correctly or not. So let's say I represent this C by C input and the output carry by C output. All right. And again by the same method uh, that if I give uh, A, B and C, if all of them are one, so the carry and the sum both have to be one. All right. So O1. And if B is 1 and C is 1, so what would be the output, all right? So now we have a look. Now one nord with 0 is a 0. One nord with 1 is a 0, okay? So over here, have a look first. Uh, we have a 1 over here, we have a 1. So 1, 1 would give us a 0, which means over here we have a 0 and over here we have a 0. Now this one came over here and this one came over here. And this zero also went over here, okay? So now one uh, with zero is also a zero. Okay, and one with zero is again a zero. So we have over here zero, zero. All right, now zero, zero is what? Zero, zero is one. Uh, uh, zero nord with zero is a one, okay? So now over here we have a 1, and the C is coming from here, so over here we have a 1 as well, and here a 1 also. So now this 1, 1 would give us a 0 again, so over here we have a 0, over here we have a 0, and which means over here we have zeros. alright? So now 1, 0 is uh, what? It's, uh, it's a 0 again, alright, so over here we have a 0. Now this one is coming over here, so we have a one zero is what? It's a zero. So which means here we have a zero. Now zero naught with a zero is a one, and zero naught with zero is a one. So this means this circuit diagram is correct, okay? Okay, let's say we have a one, A is one, uh, B is 
0 and c is 1. So in this case we will have what? We will have uh, the borrow as 0, uh, no sorry, the carry as 1 and the sum as 0, alright? So we will see now for this circuit, okay? So now, uh, you have what? You have a 1 over here and you have a 0 over here. So 1, 0 will give you a 0, okay? So this 0 comes here and this 0 comes here. And this 0 also goes over here. And we have directly a 0 over here, okay? So now what uh, this 1 again over here. So 1, 0 now will give you 0 again. And over here, 0, 0 would give you a 1, which means over here we have a 1, over here we have a 0. Now 0 and 1 would give you a 0. All right? 0 and 1 would give you a 0, okay? So which means over here we have a 0, and over here we have a 0, okay? So, and now here we have a 1. So 1, 0 would now again give you a 0, which means over here we have a 0. Now 0, 0 we have a 1. Okay, now there we have a 0 and 1, so 0, 1 is a 0. Alright, so which means over here we have a 1, 0. 1, uh, a one 0, okay, so 1, 0 would give you a, a 0, alright. And this red went here, so 0, 0. Now 0, 0 we have a 1, which means the carry is a 1 and the sum is 0. And that's proved again, which means this circuit is correct for full adder. That's about the full adder using NOR gates. That's all about today's lecture. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care. Goodbye.